Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my dude. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level, from yeah. everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Choi is 11 years the elder. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall. Weighing in at 121 pounds. Boom, boom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean super boy, Du Ho Chong. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. You ready? You ready? Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights. Building in which DC shot some of the MMA world at UFC 226, uh, but this venue will always have a special place for you. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. 
Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Beautiful strike. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. One, two there by the Korean Super Bowl. Circling towards the left now. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? You gotta check these low leg kicks. Fighting behind these beautiful leg kicks. Watch the shot. Oh, single collar tie here. Lands flush with that right hand. Ooh, what a punch. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it shows that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Okay, now see, you ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Kick now by Choi. See, he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Real sneaky body. Look at how he turns his hip. Oh! Over. He needs to start looking. 
looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And what a round! round. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. left hook and went inside. Usually, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Well-placed kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh! Back to the feet. Most fight. Oh. Oh. And just like that, the fight is over. He got him. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, five seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.